nation The whole thing end in confusion Carry come and then carry after But somehow a spelling disaster Mr. West is a politician I mean you went to a big institution And how come you can unite 7 million When a West Indian unity I know it's very easy If you only rap to your people And tell them like me Then it's one race the Caribbean man. From the same place the Caribbean man. That make the same trip the Caribbean man. On the same ship the Caribbean man. So we must push one for an intention It's for a better life in the region For the woman And we children That must be the ambition of the Caribbean Demographic diversity refers to the variation in the makeup of a population of persons. The Caribbean region is known to be one of the most demographically diverse regions in the world. This is so due to the rich history which has influenced the current Caribbean society and culture. This history is one mainly of colonization, which resulted in the immigration of many groups of settlers into the region, thus resulting in racial and ethnic diversity. In his Independence Day address, the late Dr. Eric Williams, former Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, related race to democracy in order to remind persons that equality among citizens exists, unlike during the times of colonial rule. Therefore, no race or class is superior to another as all work together in order to move forward as a united front, thus bettering the country and by extension the region. The chapel at the modern campus of the UWI was originally built in 1799 as a distillery and rum store on the Sugar Estate of Gales Valley in Trelawney, Jamaica. By 1955, it failed to serve its intended purpose, but still attracted the occasional visitor. As a result, Her Royal Highness Princess Alice, founder chancellor of the University College of the West Indies, suggests that the Georgian stone structure be preserved and used at the university as a chapel. The building was dissembled and transported stone by stone to the university where it is used to create a denominational chapel. The aqueduct was built by Thomas Hope Elliston in 1758 in order to supply the Mona Hope and Papine estates with water from the Hope River. The aqueduct terminated at the wheelhouse of UA Mona campus. Today, remains of the aqueduct, though dilapidated, can be seen on campus a few feet away from the Medical Sciences Building, as well as opposite the chapel. A Caribbean identity refers to the qualities which help to make us identifiable. Many of these cultural aspects have been influenced by the immigrant groups that came to the Caribbean. This great diversity has built a unique bond to unify the region as one, regardless of the complexion, race, religion, or ethnic group that a person is associated with. Other defining factors that give the Caribbean its unique identity are the common history of colonialism and slavery, its picturesque landscape, and its tropical climate. of St. Vincent and the Grenadines are now part of the British West Indies. But 18th century forts harken back to a time of constant colonial battles between France and England over this lush and mountainous island. The most unique and memorable Christmas tradition on St. Vincent is the Nine Mornings Festival that runs from December 16th to Christmas Eve. Each morning at 4 a.m., locals gather in the center of town to welcome in the dawn with music and dancing. It's an event that happens only in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. No other country in the world do something of a similar nature. You have steel bands, you have choirs. You have dance groups. Uh, you have people engaged in all kinds of fun activity. Between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m., you, you find people right across the country leaving their beds that early in the morning to engage in these wide range of activities. The Nine Mornings Festival evolved from a colonial Christmas custom. Over 200 years ago, plantation owners would bring their slaves and servants to church on Christmas Eve. Of course, these slaves could not go into the church. 
and they will have to stay outside. While they're outside, as Africans, they found ways of entertaining themselves. They began singing, and, and soon you had a tradition developing out of that, which gave rise to the nine morning celebrations. Everyone in the community is invited to participate in the performances, regardless of their ability or experience. 14, 15, 16, 17. In addition to music and dance performances, Nine Mornings also features unusual contests like this one. We had a 25 pound bag of rice and we invited some guys on stage. And the object is to see who could have um, held up the bag using just one finger, the longest. For the people of St. Vincent's, Nine Mornings is the ultimate community celebration for their favorite holiday. I am a record breaker Big ball a thing in a LA Them call me Laker From me know myself I am a true money maker Chatty chatty him out and talk tough But them a faker Soft like a porridge Them a oats Them a see Quaker Circle up the men's With tall rake like I'm a raker Where them move shake It start trimble like a shaker Me not have the patient TV though I am the doctor then